So welcome, uh, Pedro, Tera. So uh, nice uh, we are talking about action types and sports. Okay. So what you can tell about action types in sports? So um, action types, first of all, is coming from sports because it was developed uh, in the top sports world. Uh, first starting with volleyball and then going to more than 30 different sports. Yeah. Now it's used by top sports uh, in football, uh, in ice hockey, uh, in basketball, in, in a lot of team sports, but also individual sports yeah. like uh, swimming, uh, fencing, uh, bowling, uh, curling, uh, ski, and so on and so forth. So uh, we have a lot of implementation. So we started in sports. Um, how we can use that in sport is um, action type is all about also optimization. So how you create the best possible condition for the for the athlete to express himself or herself. Yeah. So what do the person need to blossom to to go to the limit and without having injuries? Which means I try to have a body that can. Uh, that can um, accept the load and recover very well also. So that's, uh, everything is inside. So it's used uh, a lot now in the, in the world and it, it helps a lot of team to, to achieve uh, good results. Okay, so uh, for example, if we talk about ice hockey, so you are working with ice hockey, so... Uh... Yeah, thanks to a friend of mine that developed a company in Switzerland, uh, it's called Prokey Coach. He spent the whole um, last seven years uh, making the connections between what he knew from ice hockey and action types. So I, um, I helped him develop the, the, the company and the product and the, the content of uh, a platform that he created uh, that is dedicated to ice hockey. So yeah. people are coached directly but also indirectly through uh, an internet platform that is um, uh, individualized according to their profile. Uh, we have in client in uh, NHL in the States, in Canada as well in the States. Yeah. We have a client in KHL here in Europe and uh, we have a client in, uh, in Switzerland, of course. Uh, yeah. A lot of the Swiss team players, uh, national team players, are using that and uh, the head coach of the Swiss team is also using that. Okay, so, so you can individualize your skating and, uh, uh, and shooting and so on. You, you can uh, individualize about everything yeah. because uh, of course uh, people if they have the same intention is to put the puck uh, into the goal yeah. they will not do it the same way yeah. and uh, the one size fits all uh, theory in sports always has a hard skin which means it's not easy to change because coaches have a tendency to give the same solutions for everybody. Yeah. Uh, even the skills coach, we, uh, we like the skills coach because they, are, they can train and, and, and improve their skills. But most of the skills coaches, they always do the same. Yeah. And we s just show them that people are not shooting the same way, they are not skating the same way, they are not dribbling <coughs> the same way, they are not boxing uh, out the same way, yeah. and so on and so forth. So they, they, they do slightly different things. That makes the whole difference because when they do this, these things that are natural for them, they are much more efficient and they can have a global awareness on the ice, which means they can also protect them against concussions, yeah. Yeah. which is a huge problem in ice hockey. Yeah. So that's uh, what we do. We coach players most of the time. We advise some teams yeah. uh, through the staff, yeah. but we don't uh, go for collective uh, things for the moment. We yeah. just go for individual techniques and tactics. Okay. So, and uh, also for recovery? Also for recovery. In the platform, they have a whole area they can access with yeah. documents and with videos that explaining how to recover when you are using such and such skills and, and preferences. So it's individualized for them. The stretching is individualized, the massage is individualized. A lot of uh, things are uh, tailored for the profile. Okay, and you can also use it for mental coaching, just to to yes. make a connection with the players and uh, sure. to make them understand uh, sure. how they function uh, cognitively. 
Sure, it's a, it's a next step where I think you can you can help with your Finnish yeah. mental coaching because um, they need in the platform uh, some 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 area where they can work on their mental skills uh, according to profile uh, um, or not. Yeah. I mean, it can be a general things also, but uh, they need also to understand how to mentally improve what they are doing, yeah. uh, approaching the, what they are doing. We use in action type. Um, the mental preparation, most of the mental preparation we do is through the body. So it's yeah. using movement yeah. just to connect things together so that people know that we don't have a mental on one side and the body on the other side. But the body created the mental side. Yeah. So the body for me created the brain. A brain that helps to move and of course that helps to think after yeah. that. And the mental is for me a byproduct of the body. So if we can understand when they bridge and how they bridge better, yeah. then for me the mental coaching is much easier to organize. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and also you can use it also in, for example, in golf, because we have uh, different types of uh, different types of uh, personalities and different types of uh, movements. So it's the same uh, in uh, golf, so that uh, one size doesn't fit all. It's the same, yeah. of course, and uh, maybe uh, uh, golf is one of the sports that publishes uh, the most paper and, and articles and journals and books because of course it's something that is played now all around the world, it's a yeah. it's big uh, domain and big money also, yeah. so uh, it's attracting a lot of people of course. In 2011 we already published a, a DVD, a golf DVD, yeah. using action type, but very basic things, yeah. very, uh, for beginners. Yeah. Let's how, say, the stance and, uh, how, the, how the stance is organized according yeah. to the profile and what we yeah. can find as differences and things like that. But the individualization is also for golf and it's for all the, all the, all the sports. And um, what we do in fact is we propose things yeah. according to profile and the people are taking or not yeah. what we propose, which means we don't impose, we don't say you have to do that, yeah. say try that, try that, try that, try that, yeah. try that, and then the body is going to self-coordinate, create a, a solution that is uh, individual yeah. uh, because the body knows how to move. If you go through the head, sometimes the head uh, thinks, yeah. it knows how to move, but uh, it's just copying some methods and some yeah. tricks that are coming from other people and uh, it's not generated by the body and the solution has to be generated naturally by the body and we have of course different stands, different swings different uh, techniques uh, that people can use. So general solution, once again, one size fits all doesn't exist. Yeah, and uh, it's also uh, uh, about uh, the individualization of the course swing so that you can uh, keep your body in a better form and better, better shape so you, you don't get injuries. If you are working against your natural movement, then it cause, uh, might cause some trouble. Of course, uh, the, the, the main thing behind all that is coordination. As soon as you are, your body is coordinated, which means all the so-called pieces of your body, they are uh, flawlessly doing their job together, which means uh, the movement, and the preparation, the action, nothing is exaggerated. You can go for high power and, and, and play the ball uh, far away, but yeah. it's a natural product of your coordination, so strength, yeah. power is a natural product of your coordination. So you can play far away, but your body is self-organized and using natural uh, coordination. So it means you're not overloading any joints, you're not overloading your back and yeah. you feel much more comfortable. And you can, you can last. Yeah. You can last because 18 holes is a long uh, journey, I mean, four hours uh, yeah. uh, or more sometimes. And uh, people know and also learn that in the 18 holes, uh, they will also have moments where they, have, they need to recover. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe after the ninth hole or 12 or 13, 14, depending on, the, on your shape, you will have moments where you will need to recover. So you will not be able to do what you are doing at the beginning mm -hmm. on, on hole number one. So it means you need to listen, to learn how to listen to your body. Mm -hmm. and adapt your technique, your stance, your posture, yeah. in order for your body to recover. You can still play, but it's a recovery mode. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the techniques is not the same as when you are fully uh, energized and fully, uh, fully recovered. <coughs> Yeah. So they learn how to listen to the body and adapt according to their needs. And then, of course, they don't have any more those moments where the ball goes everywhere, but yeah. where they want the ball to be. Yeah. So just by listening to the body, they can express themselves much more efficiently. It's just a wonderful tool to use. Yeah. Okay, thanks for the interview. It uh, was pleasant My to pleasure, too.